So it's the 27th of August 2021. Just arrived in Durness. I keep wanting to say Duress. Durness campsite. Uh, just going to go for a walk. I think I'm going to be walking past the ferry terminal for the so I can get over to the road to Cape Wrath, what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I'll be able to check it out, see if it's running and everything. Uh, the drive here from well, from Tong, I've drove it from Thurso, but the drive from Tong to Dornes, Dornes, oh, geez, I just can't pronounce stuff. Yeah, so, so from the drive here, absolutely, you're just driving along, you come around a corner, massive valley, or glen, I suppose they call them up here, massive glen, absolutely awesome. So that was good. So I thought I'd go for a walk. I think it would be about six miles. Um, just around this peninsula. So uh, yeah, let's have a little look. So I've been walking along this road for about, what, two and a half kilometres, I think. Uh, down at the bottom there, we're going to turn right. Uh, according to my app, this is called the Kyle of Dornes. Do Do yeah, I, I want to say dress. I don't know why. It's just what I do. Uh, so the Kyle of Dorness. Um, and I'm going to be turning uh, right towards Keeldale. Apparently that's where the ferry is to get over to Cape Wrath. Or the track to Cape Wrath. Looks quite spectacular. So I'm assuming the ferry must be down there somewhere. I think is that it? I'll have a little look when we get down there. So that's the road I've just come up, or come down. There's some guy on a 50cc moped trying to get up it. He's literally doing 10 miles an hour. Weirdest damn thing, weirdest damn thing. So uh, here we are. This is, uh, I'm turning right just at the bottom there. As you can see from the sign, Cape Wrath Ferries along there. Um, looks if they do tours as well, but I'm going on my own, obviously. Uh, this weather is awesome. Why it couldn't have been like this last week when I was doing me uh, uh, in Vanessa John O'Groats? I don't know. I, I would have loved it. Would have absolutely loved it. Uh, so obviously I'm not going to Cape Wrath today. I'll do that tomorrow on my bike. Uh, no, I'm just having a walk. I'm going to walk around the peninsula. So uh, just basically, I think there's a path. According to me, app, there's a path that goes round. Just come round on myself and go back to the campsite, the Jones campsite. I'm uh, staying at so yeah carry on trotting <laughs> so this is uh, the path that's going to take me back round to duress duress <laughs> um it's going, to, it's going to take us around the coast area and then back round to duress uh, so well, let's be here. If you can see somewhere around there, that's where the ferry goes, drops you off, so you can go up to Cape Wrath up along there. Uh, speed round again. So there's a little ferry just down there. There's a little jetty, you go down. Um, it's a tiny ferry. It's not a car ferry. Um, that's one reason I walked down this way. I thought uh, I'll have a walk round, but also to check out what the deal was, was it? Because I didn't even know whether it was actually running or not. I've been I've done that before with that Cromarty ferry actually on Marine Firth went to it along and looked around I'm thinking well where where's the uh, ferry and it was like I think it was September I went it must have been September and they don't run it during winter <laughs> so uh, that were embarrassing right So I'll just have to figure out, have a look on my app, see which way to go, because I'm sure you don't go that way. Uh, we'll see. There's a stone up there. Okay, well, I'll just have to have a look on my map. So yeah, alright, the path's up here, but uh, I was talking to the ferry guy, just to make sure it was running tomorrow and everything. Um, well, actually, his father, his sons took over. But uh, if we were saying like at low tide, this water, it's only about six inches deep, so you could drive across it. 
that <laughs> if you'd risk it but uh, i'm looking down into water now and i don't know whether gopro can pick this up but it's so clear it's like sky blue absolutely amazing i don't know whether it's just because it's so shallow or what like i said i don't know whether you could pick that up i'm going to take you off the wide is that the uh, that the ferry going across so i'm going to take you off the wide lens so i think i've took you off the wide lens now it gets a bit distorted with that wide lens so count bikes uh, but yeah so let's spin you around there you go absolutely great and that's the ferry going across and that's pretty good okay i have looked on the weather yeah, apparently it's going to be overcast 10 percent chance of rain great for tomorrow when i want to do the bike ride to cape wrath that's typical isn't it when i were in orkney's it said 10 percent chance of rain and it was like that horrible drizzly stuff everything was wet through hated it at least i'm with car now so uh, i can get warm <laughs> but once i get back So here we are, still looking out over the Kyle of Jones, some sort of castly thing over there. You might go to it on your trek to uh, Cape Wrath. I think Cape Wrath's about 11 miles, I think. Not 100% sure on that, two and then 11 miles back. Just about in my comfort range, although it is off road. Oh, I think there's a road, just not a very good one. But look at this beauty. Don't know what it is, but well, I know it's a mushroom. But wow, <laughs> I don't know what it's like because it's like a normal mushroom, it's just been burnt by the sun and salty wind or what. There's a couple more up here, look. It's funny for them to grow here because it's like just sand. So I don't know, don't know what they are. I don't want to touch them, might catch some of it. But it's all sandy stuff, look. See? So uh, I thought uh, it's not exactly a wet, moist environment. Well, it is a moist environment, obviously, because they're all rain and sea. But it's quite dry because the wind dries everything, and especially today. <laughs> it's a good 20 degrees, especially out at wind. Absolutely amazing. Just lost the track for a minute. There we go. Oh, God. Well, I don't know where I went wrong, or if I even did. But you see where the beach is there? I come along the top bit of it. It's For me, the grass doesn't look that long. It's about six foot high. And it's like, on the end of it, there's like, it's really spiky on the end of the tip of the grass. I mean, from here, it looks as if there's a path going down, two paths. But I don't think I followed either of them. That were an absolute pain. But we're getting to the mouth of the, I'm wanting to call it an estuary, it's uh, the Kyle, the Kyle of Dur, 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 Dur Ness, Dur Ness. I really can't pronounce shit. Um, so yeah, but I'm getting a bit bored now, and I'm only halfway around. I wanted to get stuff done because I've only got limited time here. I had like loads of time, didn't have to get back to work and crap. I would have just uh, <laughs> sat there and bathed in this beautiful sunshine. Ah. I don't know where the GoPro can pick it up, just where that castle is. Uh, just somewhere around there. Uh, there's a vehicle. I think that's the Cape Wrath Road. There's a commercial taxi service that goes back and forth, or bus service, should we say? So there's a fence here. Now, <laughs> how am I meant to get over this? I 
This is beginning to bug the hell out of me, I'm telling you. Why, why put even a fence here? Well, I ain't got a choice, I'll have to keep walking down that way, I think, because it is a coastal road. <laughs> so, like, a passenger helicopter's just gone past. You know, those really big seeking type things. It looks to me as if there's a road halfway up there. I might try it tomorrow. It might be even to neat. This road. Hold on now, I want to get back there. So I don't know which path to take. There's one leading up there. Did you just see the car? Yeah, so there's one leading up that way. But it looks as if it leads that way as well. Don't know which one to do. It's circling around that helicopter. It's a big one. It's not like a tiny little thing. What are those Soviet ones called? The Creeping Death. The Afghans called them. They used to fly in formation down a valley and just open up with cannons. So that's where I've just walked from. Well, that's Kate Rath there, so I haven't been out that far. This beach looks absolutely awesome. And now all those people have gone. Uh, yeah, that beach looked really good. That helicopter is still flying around. I've got no idea what. I think I'm about a mile away from to tent. There we go. So it's the 27th of uh, January, July, uh, August, and this has been my circular walk um, around the Kyle of Durness. Durness? Durness? I, I don't know. Uh, absolutely beautiful day. One of the few we get up in Scotland, or what I get up in Scotland anyway. Um, God, I wish it had been like this when I was doing my tour, tour from Inverness to John O'Groats. Uh, so yeah, that's been a nice little walk. I've checked out the ferry, it's running tomorrow. Sometimes if the ferry driver, I don't know what you call them, sick, whatever, they just don't run. There's only one person doing it. Oh, if the engine brakes, you just can't run then, whatever. So I'm almost back to campsite now, about half a mile, I think. Uh, tomorrow it has to forecast more of overcast day, which is a bit of a shame. But you've got to expect it up here. Uh, I think that's about it. Okay, dunking out.